Hi all, Rod here from Gaming Fit, and today we're playing Hell Divers. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty, and democracy. Our way of life. But it doesn't come free. It is every man, woman, and child's duty to protect our home, our culture, and our families. Why not make the most important decision of your life? Make the safety of your family a personal responsibility and prove that you have the strength and courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Travel the galaxy. Visit the capitals. Meet unusual people and represent the Federation. Secure the resources we need to preserve our way of life and create a future for Super Earth. Spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become more than you are. Become a hero. Become a legend. Helldivers Training Facility number 2403. Now, before we get too far into this, I want to let you know I know nothing about this game. I've never really seen it before or played it before. I'm going to be playing this whole thing blind. I saw a couple videos on, well, I saw it on the PlayStation Network and thought that it looked kind of fun. And I would try it out and I would share that experience with you guys. Well, this is my first real, uh, second real game where it's been a top down two-stick shooter. I have never really had a lot of luck with them, and by that I mean I've never completed one. Uh, the only other one I played was uh, a zombie shooter that was free on the PlayStation Network at one point. I really don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Lesson one. Dismemberment and or injury can be sudden. As you've probably noticed, blood is escaping from... Yeah. They seem to get a really good sense of humor. I rather enjoy it. Uh, yeah. It's kind of got a feel of Team America style, forcing our liberty and justice and democracy on the universe. Uh, but th the first thing I thought of when I saw it and saw the, the, the bug plant was, I thought, well, Starship Troopers. This gets some really good quotes, particularly in the training session here. The one coming up momentarily after I finish with a reload and everything. You're using an AR-19 Liberator. It's perfect for liberating foes from life. <laughs> Quotes like that are going to be what makes this game for sure. I'll uh, tell you a little bit about critical hits and all that. It's nothing particularly special. The training missions are just really straightforward. I love this. I threw grenade, three grenades, and congratulations, you are now an expert at throwing grenades. The wording, it's just, it's, it's, I, I found it very Starship Trooper-esque. The whole idea of join the military, be an expert in no time. Here you go, now you're out in the battlefield fighting for the survival of mankind. That is a very interesting feature, that being able to crawl under bullets. Uh, the, the inability to turn off friendly fire, I think, would make that very useful. You're now an expert in combat. Because I've spent four minutes, five minutes doing this tutorial, I am now an expert in combat. The stratagems feature, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this and playing this. It's not something I'm great at. You've got the button combos. Uh, I didn't leave too much in, I don't think, of that. It just kind of jumps into it. So it's kind of a lot of fun. You got the different strategies. I'm looking forward to unlocking a bunch and playing a bunch of this. I don't know if I'm going to be doing completely single player or if I'm going to be doing multiplayer. If I'm going to just do multiplayer with friends. This episode is being recorded uh, commentary wise. I'm doing the commentary after the fact. But I will try to do the rest of the episodes, a single mission uh, each couple of days. But I'm going to try to record those live. Don't know how well it's going to work with my two-year-old daughter not getting any real time and having a whole bunch of other stuff I'm trying to do at the moment as well, but we'll see. Yes. Help odds. 
I like the countdown timer. I like the fact you've got to wait for your equipment. It's not instant. It kind of makes it feel a little bit like a tower defense game, but not quite. Uh, I've only played the tutorial at this point. I haven't played anything else. But I'm excited to see more of this game. It looked like a lot of fun. Ammo! Now it wants me to bring in, what was it, a dive bomb. Yeah, I, I failed this a couple times, but I only got three, three times in a row, I think. So, I got a bit of a cut in here. Ordinance. Target has been eliminated. Note that the dive bomb has a limited number of uses. Uses are replenished between missions, I'm assuming. Uh, an AMG minigun. AMG 2? I can't read on the screen at the moment. I'm sitting too far back. Warning! This will shoot your face off if you're not careful. <laughs> I jumped down almost directly in front of it. It's a good thing there is a cap down, otherwise I would have crushed myself. I'm now proficient with stratagem. I think memorizing all the inputs is going to make this game a lot easier. I'm not great at doing that sort of thing, so I probably won't be all that great at the game. I'm not the world's best gamer, and this is a new style of game to me, really. So, you're going to see me die a lot. There'll probably be a lot of edits where it's just shot of me dying again and again, redoing missions as they get more difficult, because, yeah, that's kind of how I play. That's how I do. That's how the rod do. So now we're going to go do this test mission. Congratulations, you will now attempt a simulated hell diver mission. This mission is the final step before recruits are awarded the rank of private. I'll probably be reading everything out when I'm actually playing as opposed to now when I'm just kind of talking over it. It's a tutorial, so... I don't think anyone really needs to see this mission. It's just kind of an introduction. I'm going to explore. It's just me explaining how I'm going to play and what I think about the game in general. Didn't get the alarm thing here. I know the uh, enemy activated the alarm a couple times, but I didn't see how it worked. I'll have to figure it out as I go, I suppose. Now you bring up a map, you locate some stuff, and you go there. The map is pretty small. I don't know if they're all going to be that small, but this one really was. So, if they're all like that, it's going to be quick little missions. I might do two in an episode instead of one, but I have a feeling they're probably a lot bigger, or at least harder. <laughs> Definitely harder than this mission, because I didn't even have to fight anything in this first objective. I just kind of stood where I was. But if I can get two episodes, two, two missions in an episode, I'll do that. If I can't, I won't. I'm um, only looking to do 10, 12 minute episodes. I don't want these too long, because I'd rather imagine these would be kind of boring to watch if they were too long. See, there's an enemy sitting there, but it never bothered to come over. So I just kind of ignored it and let it sit there. I have done nothing with the weapon upgrades or anything. This mission, after I finished it, I stopped playing and recorded the commentary as soon as my daughter went to bed. So, I have done nothing yet. I have no idea how upgrades look, how they work, if they're making guns better, if they unlock new things, how you unlock new things. It's all going to be fun and new to me. <laughs> yeah. I placed that in absolutely the wrong place. If enemies had come up as I was doing this part, I could have easily been shot from my own turret, activating this objective here. I'll have to watch out for that later. I think that's a very interesting aspect here. The ability to use your own defenses to, well, pretty much screw yourself over. Twenty-five second wait. I thought it was dropping the bomb itself. I didn't realize that it was, uh, or rather, it was gonna blow up. I didn't realize it was just dropping the bomb, and I had to go and arm it. So I kind of ran away when I saw the countdown timer, countdown timer hitting near zero. Hence the cut, because you didn't need to watch me stand 
with nothing going on for 25 seconds. Run, little man! Extra auto reinforce. You're going to be seeing me use a lot of those. Let's go get the extraction point. Extraction locator has been deployed. Input the combination request extraction by shuttle. This is your last stand, so don't forget to use any remaining stratagems. Leftover stratagems, whatever it actually happened to say. Hold the... Yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're not going to watch all 30 seconds at all. Yeah, we probably will. After all, it's my last stand. I think two enemies come at you during this. It was... It was pretty lazy. So... Yeah, and that's the entire tutorial. I cut a lot out because it would be really boring to actually watch the whole tutorial, and I didn't want to read everything out because I'm sure most of you already know how to play games like this. They're fairly straightforward. Simulated mission complete. Board the shuttle. It will take you to the SS Victory, where you will have to report to its admiral. Where you will report to its admiral. You will attain the rank of private and have the honor of becoming a hell diver. Thank you very much. I am now a hell diver, and I look forward to doing some missions, bringing democracy to the universe, and obtaining the resources we need to keep Super Earth free. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode of Hell Divers, and I will see you guys again very soon. Until then, make sure to keep yourselves free, and I don't know, whatever the Hell Divers say. Anyone else notice the Hell Divers, once you got your cape, kind of look a little bit like the uh, Rangers from New Vegas? Or is it just me? Later on.